This is an opportunity for us to look forward but not to forget the past. The tiny town of Nahant has a massive responsibility this weekend, hosting the Walls That Heals, a three-quarter scale replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. I've been to the uh, one in D.C. and it was a very moving experience and I just couldn't pass up the chance. Vietnam vet Doug Burgess knows more than a dozen names on the wall, including some of the men he served with on a swift boat in Da Nang during his second tour. Just telling you about it makes me kind of emotional. The walls have been touring different cities and towns since 1996 and was supposed to be in the hunt last summer for the 100th anniversary of the American Legion Post 215, but was delayed because of the pandemic. Just the lump in your throat for for patriotism. Toby Quirk was part of that team that helped bring the walls to Nahant, a chance for the community to come together, but something that's also deeply personal for Quirk. 10, 20, 30, 40. Who lost four members of his 1970 West Point graduating class in the war, the last class to have members killed in action in Vietnam. And it's been 51 years since we graduated. And um, so it's not so like something that bears on you all the time. But visiting the wall is kind of like visiting a cemetery. Also part of the display is a mobile education center where younger generations can learn the stories of the Massachusetts men and women who served. Parking is available for free for up for 200 cars, and there's a ceremony scheduled for 6 p.m. Saturday. American Legion Post 215 making sure there are plenty of opportunities for veterans and families who lost loved ones in the war to have a chance to celebrate honor and grieve the more than 58,000 Americans who never made it home. These people died with honor, but so young. And what hits me is these guys will never see age 25. And the wall is open to visitors 24 hours a day. Organizers say it can be incredibly powerful at night when it's quiet and dark. The wall is going to be on display here in Nahant until 2 p.m. on Sunday. In Nahant, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5. It is a race against time in Europe as emergency workers race to rescue hundreds of people in danger from devastating floods. Also connecting young fathers during the critical first years ahead in Five for Good, the Healthy Families Initiative, making sure new dads have the